Hey, well, uh, right before we get into this great, crazy episode, let's uh, uh, hear from one of our sponsors, ExpressVPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash almost Friday to get three extra months free. That's express, E X P R E S S, vpn.com slash almost Friday, and you'll get three extra months free. That's expressvpn.com slash almost Friday, and that's it. Hey, I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll, I'm flying, I'm flying. Liquid Death's new iced teas are available now with free shipping from Amazon at retailers near you. Almost Friday podcast listeners get 20% off on your first Liquid Death apparel purchase. It's one-of-a-kind apparel. It's available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday. That's liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday for 20% off some one-of-a-kind apparel from Liquid Death. Let's get into the episode. We got Che Dorena, awesome, hilarious stand-up comedian, New York-based, but he travels around the whole world. He's on tour right now. I'm going to open for him in April and Brea come out. You better fucking come out and see that. Um, I don't think your stand-up's that good, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. And I would love to remind you of the time <laughs> that <laughs> someone had a panic attack in the middle of your set. All so. right, easy. <laughs> uh, but Che's great, so come out and see us. Uh, and he's just on try to power through Liam's set and get to Che. Just, yeah, just wait for Che. He'll apparently he'll send you a picture of his dick after the show or something. Chase a wild man. Um, you know I love your stand up. Thank you very much. We're back. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast with our very special guest, Che Dorena. Hey, how very are you guys funny, doing? Very funny, very funny. Should Chay I Durena. do headphones? You guys not do headphones? Um, whatever you want. Yeah, I, whatever I don't want to be the only one with headphones. I feel weird. <laughs> well, feel we like can put on headphones. No, 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 no. It's too late. We'll do this. We don't have. We don't actually have a need for them. Yeah, I feel yeah. like... Like, we, she doesn't play anything through the headphones. She's not very good at her job. Shut <laughs> up! She doesn't play any videos through them. Shut up, dude. She doesn't give us any tips or Yeah, anything. Yeah, no clips. Well, that's all about to change. She's basically just like a scarecrow back there. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> just standing in the wind. Just keeping the crows away. Yeah. This place is full of crows. I don't yeah. know if you've ever been to the Friday Beer's <laughs> office. No, you know what's funny? <laughs> is This is a sunroof. And it actually is full of crows. Oh, really? we'll be recording, we'll just see crows' feet. Like, just <laughs> in <laughs> slap around. Dude, yeah. don't fuck with them. Don't fuck, like, let the crows be or, like, befriend them because they'll fuck with you. They're geniuses. They're so smart. Did you ever hear that story about a crow that, like, had a beef with some dude? Like, he hit, this dude hated a crow, and the crow hated him, and they just, like, fuck you every day. <laughs> and then when the dude died, the crow shit on his grave. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. so sick. They don't fuck around, man. They're... Dude. They're so smart. I yeah. saw a video of a crow where it's like, it's trying to get food out of a tube with water in it, and its beak's like not long enough. Yeah. So it knew to like drop rocks in it so the water level would rise. That's crazy. And pull the food out. I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't be that. able to figure that no, out. I couldn't figure out like if that was a saw game, and they're yeah. like, get the water. I'd be like, I don't know, dude. Just yeah. fucking kill me, man. I don't understand physics. I'm going to die here. Yeah, I'm just going to. And the crow's like, bro, just put rocks in it. <laughs> yeah. Jay? Yeah. Uh,. You're from Canada? I am from Canada. Yes, absolutely. Whereabouts? Uh, I grew up maybe like an hour outside of Vancouver, like shitty suburbs, nothing really too exciting going on over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I traveled around for a little bit, and I ended up in Toronto when I was like 22. Um, and that's like, uh, I'd been doing stand-up for maybe about a year before I moved to Toronto, and then most of all my stand-up time was like in Toronto. That's mm -hmm. the city I probably know the best in Canada. Because when you're like a, I don't know, a, a teenager growing up and you live in the suburbs, you're not really exploring. I didn't get to see, go down to Vancouver a lot. Um, so that's like, uh, the yeah, Toronto's a place I know the best, but like the West Coast is like home. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Toronto, um, we got a couple Canadians in this office actually. Oh, right on. From Toronto. Um, Right, they're from Toronto, Dave and Matt. I think so. Yeah, we want to do. We want to try to do something in Canada with like. Uh, we used to do these like tours where we go to like different colleges and shop around. We basically like we were puppets for brands to yeah. run around the country and shoot videos. And I think we want to hit Toronto next. I would love to. I gotta get a passport. Toronto's like, great. Yeah. You guys gotta go. You don't have a passport, no. bro. What is that with Americans? I understand your country's fucking awesome, and like, ever you can go to like if you go to Louisiana or you go to fucking Miami, it's like going to a different country. Um, but you gotta get a passport, dude. Yeah. You gotta start fucking getting out there. But you guys should go if you're gonna go to Toronto. There's fucking what's it called? Uh, Eastern. 
Eastern is like the party college in Canada. Oh, okay. Like in the it's like world ranked as like one of the best party colleges. I think it has like a chlamydia status or something. Like, oh well that's you wow. want the high ones. You want a high chlamydia status. Yeah. Actually on the road in Canada, we ended up in Banff, and that's like the syphilis capital of Canada. <laughs> and I caught chlamydia there, which mm-hmm. I think is a win. Because, You're a survivor. Yeah, I'm a survivor. Yeah. Like if you go to, to a place where everyone's catching syphilis, you catch chlamydia, it's like <laughs> Holy shit, I came out scot free on that one. How many times you had chlamydia? Six. Six times. Six, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that, is that what it, pee, it burns when you pee? That's so, for me personally, it's never burned when I pee. I think for some people it can burn. I know gonorrhea, people have said it burned. I've never caught gonorrhea. Um, but I get like an itching in my urethra. Mm. Like it feels like I'm like, that's off. Mm-hmm. And then as it progressively gets worse, I'll start to get discharge in the morning. So, oh. like a little goop will come out of my dick. <laughs> oh, Some gunk or grime. Yeah. Yeah, a little. <laughs> Are you just not no, using maybe condoms? Uh, oh, I don't use condoms at all. I like the idea of pouring CLR <laughs> in your fucking dick. <laughs> get rid of that gunk and grime. How uh, often do you get tested? Uh, every time I think I have chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> so how often is that? Uh, well, that'll be like I should probably get tested when I go back home because I just got tested before I left. I uh, or like maybe like two or three weeks before I left and I was positive and then I took all the medication and then my chlamydia was gone and now I'm going to be on the like I left and I'm on the road and I've f- just fucked three people without condoms since I've been on the road so in like the past week so now I'm like I should probably get tested again but I got to start wearing condoms because a friend of mine who does porn and stuff that like I'm starting to like border on the porn world because I mm. do a lot of reaction content to like OnlyFans yeah. girl stuff so I'm starting to like hang out with porn stars and sometimes they'd be like they're interested like maybe I'd fuck you but none of them will fuck you if they think you have chlamydia like yeah. you have to be clean in order to fuck porn stars they so think I, they're better than you yeah I know it's like <laughs> come on man <laughs> they are though they are <laughs> but why, why do they care more about chlamydia than anything else no they, they probably care about well, everything yeah they care about I'm sure, they, I'm sure they care about AIDS <laughs> the most <Yeah. laughs> chlamydia is the easiest one to get rid of so uh, I'm just like you've definitely had it I definitely have it. why would you accuse me like that <laughs> <laughs> you've definitely fucking had it Leo. no dude Emily fuck. that's my kidding. friend yeah I, I never have <laughs> Uh, why do you think I've had it? Because you're a dirty skank. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Say you're sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to impress Che. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's more like a punching bag than a scarecrow. I like. <laughs> well, that's why we also have that buzzer. Yeah, oh, we used to. We were very big on silencing women. On oh, this I love that. And <laughs> every time Emily would chime in or like start talking about Ukraine, we would. Like, <laughs> We we are active about putting less women in STEM. That's, that's what we want. I love that. I love that's, this movement. That's Liam's platform. I hate when they say this shit like this because half the time they're like, "Yo, can you can you cut that?" <laughs> we are. We're just boys being boys out here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, locker, it's locker room time. But yeah. it's like funny, and then they're yeah. like, "Can you cut that?" I'm like, "You literally said it, so I'm not gonna cut it's it." It's usually stuff much worse than that. Yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah. stuff that will hinder our, 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 yeah. our ability to ever do another episode it's stuff yeah. that will make your job a lot harder and probably yeah. go away at some point yeah, yeah. that's like a that. good question for you like how do you avoid in your comedy like shit that's gonna cancel you while also probably pushing it oh like i okay my comedy is like very like i talk about like sex relationships dating yeah. that kind of stuff a lot um but i actively avoid anything political because i don't really like like I don't dislike political comedy some of it can be really funny but I just don't like the idea of going to poli- uh, to comedians to get my political advice because there's someone out there who's like the amount of time I put into a comedy they've put that time into like poli sci and like statistics or whatever and understand those things so I don't think anyone should come to me to get any sort of opinion about life um, if you do that's great <laughs> but I'm just here to make you laugh so my stuff is pretty like it's not going to rub anyone the wrong way, I think, in terms of, like, belief systems or anything. Um, and everything is, like, very sex positive because uh, I'm just very sex positive. Uh, so I haven't really crossed anything that would rub someone the wrong way. But if it did, I'd just be like, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. As, if, as soon as you bend the knee, then people really start coming at you. But I, I have what's – I think about what's called the – what I call the South Park effect, where South Park – does whatever the fuck they want and has forever. And people just, like, if South Park does something that's so offensive, 
no one even bothers to come for them because they're like, yeah, it's South Park. Of course they're going to do that. Yeah. Where if someone like, I don't know, Kevin Hart did the same thing, they would come for him like crazy. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So if you just like become that person, they don't give a shit anymore. Well, also, yeah. most people know you're joking. So. Yeah, exactly. Like everything I'm doing is within the context of a comedy club. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned before we started that you were at a strip club the other night. I was, yeah. Are you a big strip club guy? I'm not a huge strip club guy. I kind of got wrapped into an after party. Um, but uh, I think they can be fun. I Where did I go? went to one recently? I feel like that was really... Oh, no, no, I didn't. I was okay. I was in Miami. And then they were talking about how crazy the strip clubs are over there. But I didn't end up going to the strip club out there. But I'm not a huge strip club guy. I think they can be fun. That's like, it's a cool place to like booze. But I did spend like $400 yesterday, which is like, I you, on a regular night out, you don't do that. But when you're just like taking out hundreds and just throwing cash, it's fun. It's fun, but then they give you the little gun. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) but I don't live. I don't. I'm not making an income that allows me to have a money gun yet. So you see that photo of John Morant with the the cash all over the table? No, Emily, pull that up. (laughs) (laughs) It's there. I got to show you. Um, He spent fifty thousand dollars at a strip club uh, in a private room with him, and like their picture is just money everywhere. Getting a lap dance, and then there's just like a plate of food. Are you? Are you <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Like, if you want a snack, do yeah. you do you, uh, do you know John Morant? No, no. The, he's a very very good NBA player, but he's okay. like 22, and he's been having some like. Oh no, I do know about this shit. Like well, he like beat up a teenager and shit. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, all yeah. money. Yo, no way. That's all money, and that's him yeah. getting head or something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he like pulled a gun on some people and shit too. Yeah, like, but I mean, it was a pickup game, you know. So I was like, whatever, man. It's like yeah. things are gonna get heated. Have you guys? You guys probably have seen this clip. That clip of the guy who's like, uh, "I just came here to play basketball on a Saturday. This guy's coming to me with all this negativity. I worked all week." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the older dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That clip, fucking. I watch that clip like every other day and just go like, "Man, I get it. I get it, dude." That's awesome. Are you yeah. uh, a sports fan or no? Uh, I'm big into UFC. Okay. That's like my big sports thing. I follow UFC pretty close. I know the Adesanya fight is not this weekend, but next weekend. Who's he but, fighting? Uh, he's fighting uh, Alex Pereira. Some for, free promo for them. Yeah, yeah. For UFC, uh, it's in Miami, actually. And for UFC, whatever, 2687. Um, I like, I, I boxed when I was a kid. Uh, mm. And I just started taking Muay Thai classes. I've always liked fighting. I think it's like such a great sport. And it's like pure entertainment. Like, I'll watch a fucking dog fight a chicken. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I, I, it doesn't matter. That's why it's like you can have it, any two people clashing is great. Not And sometimes you have like really great fighters who are super skilled and it's a boring ass fight because it's super technical. Mm. And like, if you enjoy the art of fighting, it's like, yeah, it's good. But one thing that like <clears throat> Conor McGregor understood, I think, better than any fighter is at the end of the day, the UFC is competing for the same thing as like the NFL or competing the same thing as like TikTok with just like eyeballs. Like if you put on a show, if you are a great entertainer, that sells it more than anything. And he would do it in ways where like he would come out talk shit like a fucking uh, a WWE guy and then back it up by like knocking you out in the first round and it was just wild to watch that shit and creating this like heel persona that everyone would watch to see if he would lose but then he would always keep winning and his like rise of being like the double champ and everything is fucking insane he shit talked his way into a fight with Floyd Mayweather which is one of the yeah, that was... biggest sports events ever yeah yeah I uh I love Chael Sonnen for that. Yeah, he's he's just one of the best shit talkers ever. Like he was going to fight, I forgot who was going to fight in uh in Brazil. Uh, uh, um, fucking Anderson Silva. For yeah, the second one. Yeah, uh, and he was just like they play with mud. <laughs> like he was just like going <laughs> so hard. Yeah. And then when they would call him out on it, he's so well spoken and so educated. Yeah, there's like this interview. I forget who it's with. He's like, uh, do you think that's racist? He's like, you don't. Obviously, you don't know the difference between nations and this and that, and like just fucking flames the guy. Yeah, while doing a promo for his fight, it's so fucking funny. Chael Sonnen was like, if Chael Sonnen walks, so Conor McGregor could run. Like he had to lay the foundation of that shit talking persona. Wait, is this the guy that's always like mean in character? He's Uh, he's Chael uh, Sonnen. Who I'm talking about? That that's another one is Colby Covington. You might be thinking of Colby. Colby's the guy who's like. Colby's like not as good at it as the other guys. He's like you can see through the the veil, um, and he is like he like he's like I'm a Trump supporter, and he like tries to be almost like a like Andrew Tate esque kind of guy. Mm. But you can like get the vibe that he's kind of a pussy. Like you can like I think he got 
someone jumped him like a UFC fighter they got in a fight in the street and he like Masvidal. called the cops yeah. yeah and it's like bro you can't call the cops it's oh, like you gotta yeah. be like a fucking hard dude like you gotta be like fuck the police if you're gonna yeah. be that yeah um but there are some really fucking sick fights coming up like John Jones being back like really changes the whole dynamic of the of the heavyweight division maybe he'll go down fight at light heavyweight again there's a lot of fucking cool shit going on in the UFC right now dude I love it because I don't know anything about it but it's something that like it doesn't matter I can put oh. on a fight and enjoy it 100% fighting is like like I said I'll watch a dog fight a chicken like yeah. hey, if you throw on a fight and you're like this fight's sick and it's just two people beating the shit out of each other you understand that concept everyone can get it there's yeah. no like how sick would it have been I, I know for a fact if it happened today i would go like to go to like the roman coliseum where oh. they just have like prisoners kill each other dude so i would act, i would actually watch it in person oh 100 like, percent. in today's time yeah or like, yeah i think i would too like I, how do you not i want the splash seats like if i could walk through a portal <laughs> and be like fucking in front row they're like piss and blood so like yeah. whoa holy shit yeah. dude and like if if they're still cutting people's heads off with guillotines yeah. Down by the beach in Venice, I'd be like, fucking go smoke yeah, a joint. Yeah, but you guys want it's a good Saturday. You go smoke <laughs> a joint and fucking watch a guy get schlong. <laughs> yeah. Dude, think about those ESPN highlights. <laughs> the guy's head lopped off <laughs> flying 10 feet in the air. That's good shit, man. And then the, the winner gets like 10 seconds of glory and they release a lion. And they're like, because <laughs> yeah. he's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be good to do with pedophiles, just be like, throw a sword down and be like, fight a line so well the, the joker just we're doing tryouts fellas. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do that with pedophiles because ped- pedophilia was like okay back in, in the roman times true but they would do it with like murderers and uh thieves and, a lot of slaves and a lot of times yeah. they didn't fight to the death too they because they would you're just losing too many people they couldn't keep it up there's a famous uh gladiator named flama who like won his record was like 33 like eight and two or something like that. And like he lost a few, won a bunch. And he was offered his freedom like four times. And every time he was like, no, nah, I'll keep fighting, dude. He's like, I Damn, love it. just that's, love scrapping. That's uh, fucking insane. Yeah. Did you guys ever watch Pride? Pride fighting? No, what is that? Pride was like way back in the day when it was like the Chuck Liddell era of UFC was the fucking greatest fighting league ever. It was in Japan and they would it was as close as you could get to like Street Fighter. Like if a guy sh- could shoot a fireball out of his hand, we were there. <laughs> Wait, I think they like one of the UFC games had a Pride like you could switch to the Pride League and play so, with those yeah. fighters. Yeah, yeah. So I think I used to play with those fighters, and they had crazy motherfuckers on there. Like, didn't Bob Sapp fucking fight in Pride? Bob for a while? Sapp fought in Pride. Who's R- the mustache L- dude? Fucking uh, oh, uh, Don Fry. Don Fry Don is Fry. a legend, dude. Because the UFC bought Pride and brought like so many. Like Anderson Silva fought over in Pride. Rampage Jackson, fucking Yvandale Silva, Shogun, like all these legends. Miracle Krokop. All these fucking legends came over from Pride, and there were legends in Pride because Pride opened in their contract said we don't test for steroids. So all these guys <laughs> oh, were sick. juiced up. Like Bob Sapp was like three hundred and eight pounds with like abs, <laughs> and would like there's fights where he would start in a because he played football. He would start in like a fucking three point stance and then charge the guy and just double punch him in the face. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, uh, have you ever seen the longest yard with a? Uh... A long Sandler. time ago. Uh, Bob Sapp's the, I think he broke it in my nose. Yeah. In that, so if anyone doesn't know, that's how big that dude is. Yeah. It's that dude. <laughs> Massive dude. And they were, there was like a whole bunch of weird rules. Like the first round was 10 minutes long. You could kick and knee in the head on the ground. <laughs> so some dude's like fucking uh, Shogun would like hit you and you would fall. And then he would immediately jump in the air and try to just stomp on your head. It was fucking cool, <laughs> dude. Insane. It was insane. Was any of it? staged no or? no no <laughs> dude sick. guys were getting like fucking booted in the head on the ground and like fucking changed for life yeah i'd love to see that league get revived because oh, there's so many people that are like you know it's like two fucking tiktokers that are like let's do a boxing match to get yeah. our beef out but like a full-on like try to kill each other <laughs> like as strap. close as you can get to the coliseum without it exactly i would love to see that yeah oh, wasn't well, don fry like he had a normal job or some shit, and then he just started doing it. Just beating the shit out of guys? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Wait, I got to yeah. look him up. What is it? Oh, Don, dude, he's Don a legend. He looks like the most American man you've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> he's the most problematic dude ever. Oh, and is now, he? Oh, my God. You watch some interviews, <laughs> and he's like, 
Oh, these guys today painting their fingernails. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. Dude, you know in Pixar yeah. movies dude. when the, the dads have like eyebrows, you can't see their eyes. Yeah, yeah. And the mustache, you can't see their mouth. Yeah, and that is Don Fry. That's hilarious. Dude, yeah. We used to, me and my brother used to play UFC. I'll be Don Fry, he would be Bob Zap. And, just and, and we would just smash controllers after every <laughs> single one. It was fucking blood match. Like, uh, I love that. I fucking love that, dude. We were talking about bum fights the other day, too, on this oh, I'll bring it. We'll talk about bum fights again, dude. dude I don't care. Yeah. Bum fights. Classic shit. My favorite one uh, ever. <laughs> like, this is, this is like, one that I still laugh about. I wish I could find it. God. I wish I knew the guy's name, but it's some schlub, like some substitute middle school teacher looking dude who's, like, clearly just there, like, probably got cheated on got cocked and he's like trying to prove something yeah and the other dude was out of prison clearly has seen someone's life fade from their eyes before and, he's, and he just goes to the camera and he's like it's literally the key and peel sketch where he's like there will be a new derek and uh, he goes the other guy's like i'm gonna beat the shit of a man i'm gonna kick his ass all this stuff like and the other guy's like i bite people's noses off <laughs> When I was in prison, I bit a dude's nose off. Nobody would fight me after because I bit his nose off. And then the fight starts, and the other guy, the the crazy nose biter, no weapon. Yeah. But the other guy has, like, a fucking bamboo shaft. And immediately, first swing, the other guy just goes, Vroom, and grabs it and just throws it. And the other guy goes, oh, fuck. And he gets him on the ground, and he just... You just see him beat him, beat him, and then his face goes down. He goes, ah, ah, he's biting me, he's biting my nose. And they're like, stop, stop. He fucking bit a chunk out of his face. It was the craziest thing That's ever. wild, man. This guy fights like a chimp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Engaging all his muscles at once. Yeah, dude, that's so fucking awesome. Dude, the old internet had some wild shit on it. Yeah. I, like, bum fights was fucking crazy. That, yo, did you ever, have you guys ever heard of rough and tumble fighting? It's like there was some dude who did a report on he's like what was the craziest martial art of all time and he's like rough and tumble fighting was one of the is it was like colonial era dudes that would do it and basically there was like no rules you could bite and scratch all sorts of shit like that and dudes would like grow their fingernails out and dip them in something that would like harden them and they would file their teeth down and shit and he's like the problem with it was that like late era rough and tumble fighters would be like missing both eyes and like um have like fucking bite marks out of them would have their fingers bitten off and shit because they would because you could just gouge a guy's eyes out and so you would just be fighting blind yeah Holy shit. just like swinging until they hit something it was fucked dude but yeah that's how this guy fights prison style that's sick. that's fucking crazy yeah but that's good to know that if you get in a fight in prison bite a dude's nose off and then you're like Okay, we're good. I'm good for my, the rest of my sentence. Yeah, nobody's going to touch you. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. They'll put you in a cell where you won't see anyone for a month. <laughs> yeah. It's but, great. Uh, pretty good break. Did you guys ever get into E-Fucked back in the day? What is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you don't know E-Fucked? E-Fucked? Oh, E-Fucked. I wouldn't recommend checking E-Fucked out now because it got a little dark. But E-Fucked was like a porn blooper website for a long time. And it was like some like funny shit like there was an e-fucked video i watched where this girl was like pushing these like foam baseballs out of her ass and they're like one after the other they're popping <laughs> out of her ass and she's wearing also like a baseball uniform mm. and then one like shoots out and it like flies and they cut to footage of some baseball movie where the baseball's flying in the air and there's like this <laughs> motivational music and it's like Dunna! and the baseball's about to go out of frame and then they cut to footage of 9-11 just <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that was the kind of shit that was on e-fucked i remember seeing like there was some clip that was popular when I was in middle school and high school. People would send to each other was a guy putting and the ball is about to roll in the hole. And then it would cut to like a girl like – and they would reverse like the ping pong ball shooting out of her ass. Yeah. It was yeah. probably from that website. Yeah. I, I got so used to being sent that type of shit from like every group chat I was in that yeah. I would just click on the video and just like – S look at the frames a little bit and just like see something coming like nope don't need to see that I'm not watching that <laughs> there's one um there's one where it's they've taken like footage of a guy pulling his balls out of a girl's asshole no but way. they reverse it and they put googly eyes on her <laughs> ass so it looks like it's going <laughs> 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 it's so good, man. Dude, yeah, how there's, the hell? There's some... Who's that for? Who's like, who, who's getting the most pleasure? The guy putting his balls in a girl's ass or the, the, the poor lady? I think sometimes with porn, they do things to be like, we're, we're like pushing the boundaries. Like you guys know Adriana Chechuk, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she had, she did like a triple anal. So. <laughs> well, like, I, have no I don't idea. know who that she's is. On, uh, oh, you actually don't know? No, she, she's, uh, she goes on like a, a 
Two Bears, One Cave that late. Yeah, right? she went on Two Bears, One Cave. What she's is it, Adriana big... Chekhov? Check, check. She's like a huge porn star. She's like the GOAT. She broke her back at TwitchCon recently because she had back problems already because she fucks so intensely. She'll do like the pile driver position where like basically her neck's on the ground, her ass is in the air, and someone's fucking her downwards. And she does that so much that she went to the doctor and they're like, you have your brain stems coming out a bit. Like you're, 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 <laughs> oh my God. She, she your is, brain stem is fucking falling off? Yeah, like it's she fucks in such intense positions <laughs> that she has all these like fucked up things to her spine. So at TwitchCon, she went to jump in a foam pit. They're like, oh, we're going to do this foam pit thing. I saw that video yeah and then she broke her back because there was enough foam in the foam pit and so she's probably gonna sue twitchcon and shit but now she's like recovered and like she couldn't walk for a bit like she had a rough go but she's like the goat like all-time fucking good like puts it her body on the fucking line like you know that video where he's like um uh the guy's playing madden and and he's like he puts the team on his back that's adriana chechik with porn she fucking does it uh but she did a triple anal scene and I don't think a triple anal <laughs> scene is for like anyone to be like, I can only come to triple anal. <laughs> but I think it's because like who the fuck else has done it? it yeah, it's I guess, like yeah. directors who like just they want to do. It's like when uh, Tom Cruise does these crazy stunts <laughs> yeah, in Mission yeah. Impossible, and it's like, why are we doing this? And he's like, because we can. Because we, we're yeah. pushing the boundaries. We're <laughs> breaking the mold. We strapped the side <laughs> of an airplane. They're like, we have the technology so that yeah. you don't have to do this. And he's like, I want to do this. Dude. I want that little snippet of what you guys said. <laughs> Put over the footage of the third dick going <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's like those fashion shows where like no one would wear any of that shit, but it's like it's, yeah. it's an art form in of itself. Yeah, it's you're a pushing statement. it to the It's a statement, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, Adriana's mm -hmm. the goat, man. I don't know if much people have done it better than her and like have really like done it for the fans and really fucking crushes it. Oh, what was that fucking show? What the oh fuck, I wish I could uh this dude would interview porn stars. Uh oh Cassim Cassim G, G goes dude. deep goes deep. Cassim. Going deep with uh or no 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 is yeah, Cassim goes deep. I'll send you some of them, dude. Yeah. Some of the funniest videos I think on the internet because he straight up just like bullies the shit out of these porn stars. Like oh. he'll be nice to him, and then like he'll just he does and he it's he just keeps dead it's it was kind of uh between two ferns before between that. Two yeah. Ferns, yeah. yeah. But with porn stars and it's vicious. Holy shit. But it's so fucking funny yeah. at the same time. Yeah, I got to check that out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say I love shit like that on the internet. He's great. He's a very old YouTuber. Like 12 years ago was a pretty big YouTuber and uh yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's so he's fucking doing now? Probably he's still fucking YouTube and shit. Um, do you want to do a character? Yeah, so um we have this segment where we do characters we can't make sketches with because okay. they're too stupid. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll just do them real quick on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we've we've both prepared some, and we'll just kind of like we just you oh, gotta I improv it out. Oh, oh, you know. Okay, okay I know. Okay. I I didn't know, but I have a character that I've tried to put on my TikTok several times. Perfect. That always bombs, and I love him. And he's but I I'm committed that I think it's funny. Liquid Death. We. We got sent some Liquid Death iced teas. and You've been seeing these gold can tall boys all over the place. You've seen them in the commercials. They're hilarious commercials. Like the, do you see the grandma one where she's like punk rocking yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their marketing team is genius. Like those commercials are fucking hilarious. Yeah, and we've been stealing them. Emily's been getting pissed because we don't have that many left. Uh, so again, please send us more. Like we are running very low. We don't have that many left. Yeah, you already re-upped and... We're going through them so quickly, we might need more. I mean, I'm using them for everything. I'm I'm taking damn showers with them. I'm Pretty, cooking pasta with them. I would like some of the apparel, the water's too. water's that good. I guess I could go and buy it. Well, you could buy our apparel with the Almost Friday code. That's at liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday. For 20% off 20 their one-of-a-kind apparel on your first apparel purchase. That's a fucking sweet, sweet-ass deal, man. And the stuff tastes great. And they got a bunch of new flavors, which is really cool. Like this one right here. This is the Armless Palmer. Uh, they got the Grim Leafer. That's a fun one. And then the Rest in Peach. The Rest in Peach is great, but actually, uh, this is I think this is the first time I'm trying this one. It's delicious. Have you had this one? Yes. Might be my, might so be my favorite, although the Grim Leafer is also could be up there. Just go to their website, liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday to get 20% off. Uh, and that's 20% off your first Liquid Death apparel purchase. Exclusions may apply, but that's liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday. Liquiddeath.com slash almost Friday. And, uh, you know. There's a reason you're seeing Liquid Death everywhere. It's because it's that good. 
So look for this can. Look for this cool can. It's fr- free shipping with Amazon, and it's at retailers near you. Let's get back into the episode. Okay. Okay. This is excellent. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with one. This is a quick hitter. It's really stupid. Okay. All right. So um, we're at the dog park, and um, we're all just hanging with our dogs, talking. And my dog, I've Clifford the big red dog, and you guys have normal dogs. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So Liam, you uh, getting into anything this weekend? No. Um, Clifford, come here. Just go watch some basketball. Holy, that's a big ass yep, a sorry. fucking dog. Are you watching basketball? Yeah. Jay, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm hanging out. Uh, I think we might do the UFC. Why is your dog so big? Yeah, sorry. Oh, he's pooping right now. Sorry. Um, Jesus. Holy yeah, fuck. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Keep going. Ignore me. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, do you. Yeah, so this weekend, uh, me and my wife. Uh, do you have a shovel? I think we might Damn, need his a, wife. We're gonna his dick is fucking have some people sh- over if you guys what want. Do you, what do you feed him? How do you? Keep, what's your the dog food bill like? Huh? The dog food bill on this guy? Oh, very. Exp- um, we're in crippling debt. Hey man, your dog's trying to fuck my dog, and it's gonna kill it's it. It's gonna kill it. You you see, there's ten dead dogs around. Do the math. Can you stop him? His boner is larger than you. I can't stop him. Oh my god, he's gonna come. Oh, all right. That's the character. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's really dumb, but it's fun. Yeah, it's it's fun. fun. I like it. I like um, it. Well, I was like, I don't want this to continue until he fucking comes. Uh, did did we lose the middle school thing I did on the last episode? Because I'm just gonna do it again. What was the middle? Uh, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do it again. Remember we lost. Uh, uh, no, we we didn't we didn't lose that one. It's so it's up on. Yeah, it's up. Fuck, I was just going to do that again. <laughs> I thought it was... You fucking lazy piece of shit. <laughs> I know. All right, well, then shit. Well, I had... I, I can do one. Yeah, I can do you this. Do it, you do it. This is... I'll just do one line of it. So I had this mm-hmm. character that I made uh, called Mr. Popcorn. So... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So I, I one year for Halloween, there's these like chain of uh, thrift stores in Canada called Value Village. Uh, you can get like a bunch of Halloween shit there at Halloween. I went like last minute on Halloween to see what they got. It's like fucking there's nothing left. There was this like bellhop like fucking usher thing that was like uh, uh, you had like this bag of popcorn you put on your head and it had like a sparkly bow tie with like sparkly suspenders. Okay. So I got this and then uh, me and my buddies are like in an Uber going to the party and I'm like, I'm Mr. Popcorn. I should start doing this character <laughs> that is like this uh, in my head. It's this person who's been in Hollywood for so long. He knows every fucked up Hollywood secret. So he's like, Anna Kendrick ate my ass for two tickets to Moulin Rouge. <laughs> say these fucked up things like, uh, fuck, what was another one? Uh, uh, Liam's Hemsworth keeps one of my kidney stones in a locket around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and I did a bunch of them on on fucking TikTok, and no one liked it, bro. <laughs> they, didn't land. they didn't land. I'm like, Mr. Popcorn's so fucking funny, dude. That's such a great character. I love Mr. Popcorn, man. Did yeah. you give him an outfit for the TikTok? You, you I put the, the whole, yeah, I put, put the, the whole thing, thing on. on. Okay. I was like, I'm Mr. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah, that's I great. I bet you it would hit on our. Yeah, dude, yeah. if you can bring Mr. Popcorn to light, I would love to like go on the red carpet and interview celebs <laughs> as Mr. Popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remember in 2004, it. you and I were doing ketamine. In the yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, like, what? You're like, yeah, you fucking remember. You called me Johnny Tits. <laughs> <laughs> Your father and I had a very bad heroin habit. <laughs> okay, um, um, I have one. All right. You don't have one? Huh? No. <laughs> Liam! Dude, you're a bad guy. <laughs> you're a bad guy. You're going to hear it from me after this. Dude. Dude. Um, okay, I got I to... Gotta, uh, I, I took some notes. I have to read these real quick. Um, okay. let, me t- let, me, let, me, let me see what I got. Yeah, you got. go fishing. You All should right. just you should just write out your script for Mr. Popcorn. And we'll just, do it on the pod. I'll clip it and we'll we'll make it go by. Here, like let me. I I think if I go in my notes, I might be able to pull up. I might still have the old Mr. Popcorn things I wrote. Just if I type in Mr. Popcorn. I'll just edit the costume onto um, you and post. <laughs> I my character is ready if you if if you guys don't mind. Okay. Oh, get it, Let's get it. it. Okay, so this is Doctor Squat Pump. <laughs> and we're, you're you're a patient, and you're doing a Rorschach test, just totally normal. Yeah, just a normal evaluation. Okay. All right. So, uh, tell me what you see here. Um, I think I see a, a man shitting on a bow tie. Okay. Well, yeah. And what do you see here? Uh, 
uh, like a cup, maybe an upside down cup? No, that is a pig carcass. I had a pet pig when I was a kid, and my dad punished me and killed the pig, and I kept this pig carcass in my room because uh, it was the only thing I had in my life that I cared about, and he killed it, and I kept it around. So uh, how long you're is- wrong. Okay. What did you hear? Uh, I think that um, maybe it's like two people holding up a trophy. They're like squirrels no, or something. No, no, no. That is my older dog killing my younger dog. Jesus it got Christ. really – kind of started losing its mind toward the end there. And uh, um, it went I, crazy. My dad had to shoot the older dog in front of me after he killed the new puppy that was for me. So. I, I think for ther- – I don't know if you're supposed to give me your trauma. What do you see here? Oh. Um, I think it's uh, – No, that's wrong. This uh, is my teacher, Horace. And he was really mean to me in front of the class and gave me detention. And then when I was in detention, he was really, really nice to me. And actually, I think think your time's up. Um, Uh, I think you should maybe talk to the police about this. And that's Dr. (laughs) Squat. That's just a fun one. That's a fun one. Um, All right. I I thought of something. Let's go. Thank God. Riffing a character. Let's go. All right. um, You guys, I'm a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Okay. You guys just picked me up, and I slowly realized that you guys aren't trying to fucking kill me, which is what I want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, me getting in. Uh, appreciate well, the ride, fellas. Yeah, glad we could help you out. Uh, it's not too far from here anyway. So. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I just uh, I ran away from home. Nobody knows where I'm at, and just, you know, I don't really... I don't have anything on me. Well, do you want to? Do you want a phone? We can call nah. your folks or something. No, 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 no. Nobody's looking for me. Like nobody knows that I'm. I'm even gone. I don't have anyone to oh, look out for me. I'm sorry. Well, do you need some money? Maybe get back on your feet. Yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. How? I mean, I guess like how would I earn the money? Well, just, just give it to you. Yeah, I'll just give it yeah. to you. You don't really have to do anything. Sp- like I've been down and out before, so I really yeah. kind of sympathize with your position. I feel like I could do something to earn to earn the money really not necessary yeah no i'm i mean i don't i can't even really think of anything that you could do i don't need anything right now got it uh um so you guys you guys are a couple you guys are gay yeah (laughs) gay men yeah Yeah, we're gay cool uh me too so okay well that's good i mean it probably was hard for you to come out and uh like i don't know maybe is that part of the reason why you ran away or anything like that yeah. <laughs> Is everything okay? You guys. Are you going to uh, fucking kill me? Uh, or, no, what? It, no, I think I we were. Uh, I'm gonna, I feel like a fucking asshole. I'm going to get out, guys. I'm wait, sorry. wait, you wanted us to kill you? I wanted to be fucked and then killed. That's kind of my. <laughs> I've been walking up and down this fucking highway for like a week trying to get fucked and killed. Fucked and killed, and no one's fucked and killed you. No, I thought you guys would. It's a. It's. Um, it's you know, this is not your problem. Well, this is actually. Thing. I mean, look, I, I, I want to help a guy when he's down. I wouldn't mind if you. Yeah, I guess. I mean, fucking... is there a specific way you want to be fucked and killed? However, just in the most violent fashion that you can imagine. I think I have like some duct tape and rope in the trunk. I think we could work you that guys. out. Yeah. Like a box cutter? Just box like cutter's great. Yeah. Blunt, you, blunt we, objects. Uh, if you want, you could uh, pour oh. gasoline all over you and burn your corpse. And You guys. You guys are the nicest people I've ever fucking met. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really, really it's, terrible. It's seen. It's seen. It's seen. Yeah, that sucked. Fuck. <laughs> no, it was good. It was no. good. I like that. I but like come that. prepared next time. <laughs> because you blew it. I think that I think that might have beat Clifford. Dude. That the one Sorry? You, <laughs> the one you guys did with the guy who's like um it's like, oh, what are we going to do? Stuff guys do? And it's like, and, and you're like reading his mind. You're like, oh, what are oh, you doing to me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that one was fucking crazy. Stuff us guys like that's based off of a partially real person. Oh, really? That one of us knows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or reveal too many details. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. You got to keep it yeah. close to the chest. Speaking of uh, being gay, did you guys read my notes for the uh, for this podcast for today? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you explain. Do you know, you, you explain. Well, I can't. Okay, I'll explain now. So you've heard of Chat GPT, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. So like Liam and Will had me write up some notes before this podcast, just any background information in case they needed to know about yeah. you. Yeah. And honestly, it was like kind of hard to find some like lot of background information on you because it's just yeah. like your comedy sketches and whatnot. Yeah. 
And lately, this is a really toxic trait of mine, but I've been like relying a lot on chat GPT for some things. So I was like, I wonder if chat GPT knows anything more than I can find. Yeah. So I just want to read you read what the entire they... thing. Oh, I'm, I'm I have oh, it right I'm here. I'm so excited to hear this breakdown. And of... and imagine I wrote this in the notes without fact checking. Yeah. Che Durena is an openly gay comedian and often incorporates his experiences as a gay man into his comedy and his stand-up routines. He has opened up about his sexuality and shared his personal experiences with audiences. For example, in his 2019 comedy special, I'm not mad, I'm just a little disappointed, Che talks about his experiences coming out to his family and navigating the world as a gay person of color. He uses humor to address serious issues as a discrimina- as, such as discrimination and bullying and also, fun stere- and also pokes fun stereotypes and misconceptions about the LGBTQ plus community. Yo, <laughs> when I think of Jay, I think... <laughs> what? Jay to What is it called again? <laughs> <laughs> what the comedy special it's like don't, I'm sorry oh it's called I'm not mad I'm just a little disappointed <laughs> yo holy <laughs> shit Chad GP was like I'm just gonna riff I'm just gonna riff oh, it made up g- so many more lies about yeah. you <laughs> to the point where I started getting mad at it I type back I go <laughs> Chat GPT, just so you know, Che Durena is openly straight and talks about fucking girls all the time and it says back to me and it goes you're right. I apologize for lying to you. He does talk about openly being straight a lot. <laughs> That's so funny. Just an openly gay person of color. It's the, yeah. it's the funniest fucking. Just the opener. They're like, yo, this bangs, though. This is the headline right here. <laughs> yo. I like how it said it. I have a comedy special and everything. Holy fuck. That killed me. It kind of hyped you up, too. It said you were. I don't know if this is true, but I looked it up and could not find a single fucking clip from this. Yeah. But it said you were on Conan and Jimmy Fallon or the. the Holy shit. Did it mix me up with another person? No, like, because I mean, it literally specified that you were Canadian, person of color. That's why. And bro. um, also, like, this doesn't seem to be true either. That you talk openly about your depression and anxiety a lot in your comedy, yeah. and that you Bury like to spread that. awareness yeah. about mental health no. uh, in your comedy. <laughs> no, I actively don't. Bro. I know. Like, I was like, none of this is fucking adding up. I was like, <laughs> I was like. Imagine I left this for Liam and Will. Imagine they like, like actually use this information. Honestly. Well, I read that and I went, oh, I didn't know he was gay. <laughs> that was just in my head a fact. For, Dude, for... if you guys came at me and like, yeah, and you did a comedy special, I would be like, yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Well, thank God I fucking like fact checked there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I when I read that, I like went through Instagram. I'm like, he's like, I've I've watched a lot of these videos. I the gay thing hasn't. <laughs> Come yeah, long time. but there, then I did. Never. I did find one website where you are featured, where it's like you're banging a bunch of dudes. No, you, <laughs> <laughs> well, that one time. Um, no, there was one website where you were featured as an LGBTQ plus, uh, like, ally comedian. Oh, really? Like, there's like a website where it's like you can find comedians that support. Or that are LGBTQ. I mean, plus. I don't not support. I'm not like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out there, I mean, like, exactly. But I, mean, I don't know what it meant by like that. You're part of the community. Well, but you're it's... You're, you're black and Canadian. That's basically it's basically LGBTQ gay. Plus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people find out I'm like funding the conversion therapy or something, <laughs> dude. That's... But yeah, that was the only proof it had. I was like, this is. He's gonna find this so. My funny. my some of my nudes are on this weird website. I don't even know really how to explain it. Think of it as like you don't need to explain it. We've we've seen. Oh yeah, it. yeah. We've seen <laughs> Emily it's, did her research. She was like, mm-hmm. I it's dug those backgrounds. So. Yeah. <laughs> I included that in my notes yeah. for today. Yeah, they're like, here's his dick, by the way. <laughs> Wait, why are you... Why, you, got, you got a new... Yeah, leak? what is this? Oh, so this, like, someone reached out to me randomly from, like, an Instagram account with, like, zero followers and was like, is this you? And they sent me a link to a website that, like... I don't even know really how to explain it. It was, like, a really shitty version of Reddit, but it's all, like, gay porn. And so there was, like, a thread that was me. And it was, like, pictures of me and, like, people that knew me from some other stuff. And then there was one of my dick pics, like, an old dick pic. Dick pic from, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> five, six years ago. I'm like, who the fuck? I can't even remember who I sent this to. And they're like, oh, is this his dick? I don't know, blah, 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 and, like, all this stuff. And this Was your face in it? No, it wasn't my face isn't in it. Thank but they're God. like, is this you? 
And I was like, no, that's not me. That's not my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I just, they're like, you can contact the mods and get it taken down. But I was also like, I don't give a shit. I'm really liberal with my dick pics. Like, uh, I've started saying that on stage. Like, it's super easy to get my dick pic. And then ladies will reach out after the show and be like, hey, can I get a dick pic? And I'm like, yeah. Boop, and I'll send them a dick pic. <laughs> and hilarious. that's it. And they'll just be like, thanks. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, no problem. Like, we won't even fuck. Like, wow. I fucked a few of them from that. But some just like, I just want to see the dick. And I'm like, all right. What Do you know nice that Will and Liam have both yeah. never taken <laughs> pictures of their dick? Before. I haven't. You've never taken a dick pic? Nah. Bro, I have like stocks. Aren't they fucking losers? Well, you must have a nice penis. I'm, I love my dick. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I don't I do not not love yeah. my dick, but I just don't think it should be seen by the eyes of others. <laughs> you know what I mean? You like keep that under wraps. Yeah, we yeah. would talk about how we would have to lull a woman into a relationship for a, a few months and then you drop it on them. And then you go, Here's boom, the dick. that's what you're working with. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I did just do a podcast with some porn stars and they had both had different opinions. One chick was like, yeah, I need eight inches and up, but she also fucked Dread. Do you know Dread? He has like a dick that's like a cannon. Like it's like <laughs> literally like a, it'll, it'll fucking smash a Coke can. Like fuck that. Shit. <laughs> like it's like it's probably it's bigger than the tall boy. The girl was holding oh it up. God. It was like bigger Jesus. than her form, bigger than her Christ. head. And she got fucked by him, like took the full dick in her. She's a small chick too. Um, but uh, Sorry, she's not the dead. other chick was like, no, like I need like four inches, five inches. That's good. Yeah. Liam's like, okay, I'm safe. <laughs> A dick this hilarious. big would knock my brain stem out of my body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't got the fucking, I don't got the guts for that shit. Taking a quick break to talk to you about ExpressVPN. We'll get them. I love ExpressVPN. It's actually extremely useful. So I watch. How, how do you use it, Will? ExpressVPN is great. I use it personally when uh, I'm watching NFL games and it's I'm region locked and I can't watch certain games. It helps me hop over to a different part of the country and I can watch any game I want. Same with NBA games. ExpressVPN, we don't want people seeing our fucking activity, okay? Whatever it, it is, you don't want people seeing your activity. But if you go to expressvpn.com slash almost Friday, you'll get up to three extra months for free. That's an exclusive deal for our listeners. Go to expressvpn.com slash almost Friday. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash almost Friday. And you got three extra months free. Let's get back in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've just never, I have never, I know, like, I, I, I do find some some good solace in knowing that there, it's impossible. To get a picture of your dick? Yeah, it's... it's I'm kind of like, I, if I pop, like, if a Netflix special comes out or something, I get all the goods, um, I want them to leak then. Like, I like, that's, like, just crazy yeah, press. Like, yo, point. Chase dicks all over the fucking internet. And then it's, like, also, he has a comedy special out. <laughs> like, yeah. mm -hmm. that is, like, a good crossover. Why branding. not put it behind a paywall? I could. Someone once was, like, um, I've, I've had different OnlyFans girls be, like, you should start an OnlyFans. Like, imagine if you had, like, you're, you're not, you don't have to show your face. You just, like, fuck these girls. It's all on your thing. Like, it's very good branding. But I also, all the content and everything I do is just to, bring more people to the stand-up. Like, I've been doing stand-up 10 years now, and then TikTok, like, blew me up on that. So it's like, okay, keep feeding this social thing because it keeps people coming out to the shows, keeps getting butts and seats. Mm -hmm. So that's always been, like, the main focus. And... If I start only OnlyFans, the people are like, oh, you'll make a lot of money off of it. I don't give a fuck about money. I'm like, it, it's it's never been about the money. It's always just been about being able to do more stand-up, get better at stand-up. So unless I found a way that OnlyFans directly made me better or helped me sell more tickets, then I wouldn't really do it. Mm -hmm. Um But uh I guess I could like if I did like a one time thing where I'm like, hey, I got all this stuff, I threw it up, and then you go get it. So I just don't have something I have to continuously go check. Uh, and then and you send your friends a promo code. Exactly. Get a discount. Yeah, yeah I get you guys. I'll just I'll show you my dick right now if you want to see it. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I think it also cuts off some opportunities. Like yeah, Disney's probably not going to fuck with you if you have an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> True, dude. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to be in the fucking new Marvel shit. Exactly. So, or maybe you are. Who knows? Maybe it's just like going to get there anyways. Yeah, like it's so prevalent now, and the porn industry is like getting bigger and bigger and bigger with all this OnlyFans shit. So I kind of like the position I'm in right now where I'm sort of adjacent to it. I'm like meeting these girls. I'm hanging out. We're like cross-promoting our stuff and like those kind of things. Like I think, uh, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. um, and I like working with them as well. A lot of these porn stars are very funny, uh, and they're like very open with everything, and I like the whole like – I, I've always been very liberal sexually. Um, and I think that's like, I've always contemplated like, is that a normal, is it normal for us to feel like so much shame and so much insecurity with sex? Cause everyone's fucking. So it's a, like, is that, is that our own mind or, or is that a cultural 
overtones that are pushed into us to be like, oh, you can't have a lot of partners. Or you can't do this. Or you can't do that. Um, yeah. So I, I'm. Uh, I I like the position I'm in now. I don't know if I want to dive any deeper and like full on start doing porn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be crazy. How old are you now? I'm 30. That would be a big life change. It'd be a big <laughs> life change for sure, yeah. man. I do want to go to an orgy still. I haven't been to an orgy. And I'm like, I'm 30 now. I'm getting in really good shape right now. So I'm like, I'm really going to keep working on that. Hopefully this summer I get in like bang in shape. I'm supposed to go to Greece in September. Nice. So it's like uh, April 1st, I'm going to like cut out a lot of the bad food, the drinking, and like go real clean for a long time, stay hard in the gym. And then if I'm like looking fucking nuts, I might just put that on the board. Like I got to go to an orgy like with my best <laughs> pod, go to an orgy and just fucking tear it up. Wait, who would you call? Uh, I would have to figure that out. I'm, I'm like, I could find someone who could like... I think I'm like three degrees of separation from an orgy. Like I know someone who could call someone who could call someone. Well, aren't there so many of those like sex parties here in LA? I don't know. Do you know? No, no, no. <laughs> I've like heard. I, I like, don't think I've heard. Or, I don't think I've ever met anyone or heard of an orgy. I've just only heard of them as like a concept. Yeah. The only weird shit I got invited to once was at Comic Con, where I yeah. talked. We were doing like man in the street shit at Comic Con last year. And I talked to these three ladies that were just like dressed as crazy characters. Mm-hmm. And then they hand me like a card and were like, come to this club tonight. We're all like performing at this club. And I was like, what the fuck? And I looked it up and it was like a crazy pa- past burlesque, whatever yeah. the fuck. There's chicks in cages and shit and weird stuff wow. going on. Uh, Did you go? Nobody would come oh. with me. So you Remember? didn't want to go alone. Mm-hmm. I, I like, didn't want to go. <laughs> I was like, I, w- I would have gone with you. Yeah, if, I wish we were friends then. Yeah. But I was like, there's no way I'm fucking pulling up to this thing by myself. By a yeah, solo yeah. dude. And also there was a dress code, which I think that was the big thing. Because yeah, I was like, I don't was... even, I'm not, it was like all white. I was like, oh, no, we're all yeah. white, dude. No, no that's no. it. Yeah, no, that might have got me out too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, man, if I'm going to go be a pervert, let me be comfortable. Yeah, I want to be able yeah. to vape inside and just be in the corner. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I used to go to this sex club with this girl I was dating. Um, and it was sick. It was this place in Toronto called Oasis Aqua Lounge. And the first floor was like a heated pool, hot tub, sauna, um, bar. And then you could just like kind of hang out there. Um, you could like fuck in the pool and stuff. I think the only places you couldn't fuck was like the stairs and the hot tub and the bathroom. Um, and then the second floor was this big ballroom where they would do like events and stuff. And if you fucked in there, like a bunch of people would watch you. Uh, and then there was a dungeon. In the dungeon, there's like fucking all sorts of stuff. Like one of those things where it's like a they had like a glory hole and like a like an X. You know those like X plank things you can like strap someone to. The sex cross. Yeah, the sex cross. They had that. They had <laughs> swing. All sorts of shit in there. Uh, I was actually in there once, and there was this dude on the sex cross, and this chick was jerking him off. <laughs> and there's like 15, 16 people watching him get jerked off. And then when he came, everyone clapped. That was awesome. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Awesome. Dude, that's real nice. That's got to be a bizarre feeling to be on a sex cross. Oh, uh, yeah, I in front of a crowd, too. Coming and then getting an applause for coming. I think that's every comedian's dream. Right? Yeah, like, you're that's... like, oh, I'm killing. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> And then there was a third floor where only single women and couples could go. So if you came with a chick and you like didn't want to be watched or like ogled or whatever, or if you're just a single girl in there alone, you want to get away from like all the dudes because the ratio was fucked in there. Ratio was like ten to one. Uh, you could like go up there and like fuck and have like a little bit more privacy. So that was fun. Wow. That's, yeah, that's, I didn't even know places like that. Yeah, I didn't oh, know. Yeah, they're all over, man. There's some are way better than others and just like classier and nicer. This one was like real cool, but it was one where it's like if you go as a single dude, you're just having a shit time because they're like, there's I don't think any chick went there to get fucked, they or to like get fucked by some guy they're gonna meet there. It was all like people, I'm so sure some did, and then they, but they would have events sometimes where it was like a big orgy and you would go and then fucking the girls would just go f- fuck person to person to person. I'd have, I was dating a girl who, um, this was like before I had gone there who went there and she was like, Yeah, I just kind of like fucked five dudes back to back, just like went from one dude to the next. I don't know what the condom policy is either. I think you just kind of play it by ear. Yeah. What's the shittiest one you've you've gone to? Have you been to one where you're like, oh, God. Oh, I, I haven't been to like ones that are super shitty, but I did go to like swingers ones where it's just swingers are a different demo. So you're like, the people are much older. So it's, uh, I mean, if you're super into like MILFs and Cougs, which I'm not against MILFs and Cougs, but obviously as people get older, their bodies change. Mm. So you kind of would want to mix. You would want like maybe like some MILFs and Cougs in there and then some younger chicks as well, and then we can all co-mingle. But when it's just older people, you're like, hey, maybe you should uh, hit the gym or something. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a very sexually experienced person. I try. What 
what's the experience that stands out to you where you're like i like sometimes you're lying in bed at night and you're like that's fucking that's pretty crazy so um there's this married lady that i've been fucking for a little bit uh and she's not in the same state as me and then there's one time she flew out to come fuck me she lied about where she was flying because she had like a layover where i live and I was actually supposed to be visiting someone else. So she had, but didn't tell her husband that she was uh, coming to me first. So she came to me, fucked me for the night and then flew to go see her friend. Uh, wow. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was really hot. I don't want to go into too much detail on that. Of course. Uh, and I just fucked another married lady. Um, in, I, I won't say, <laughs> 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 um, but I fucked another one, different one recently. And that I always think is super hot. There's something hot about it where it's like, you're not supposed to be doing this. This is dirty. Like you're doing something wrong. Uh, and I also like fucking turn it up when I'm fucking a chick and I know she has a husband at home. I fuck her. Like I really try to do my fucking best. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to make it. I want her to ruin th- their sex. I want her to think about me when she fucks them. Dude, what the fuck? It's so <laughs> twisted. Brutal. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you get in touch with these married ladies? They get in touch with me. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> crazy. That's like, I ain't got to do shit. Yeah, <laughs> no, they, they you don't feel the, You don't feel guilty at all? No. When it comes to cheating, my like philosophy has always been like, there's. I don't know the intricacies of someone else's relationship. Like... If if you're with someone and they're not fucking you and they're not treating you right and you're on like the road to a divorce, it's like like um, a friend of mine, a friend. This is like a friend of mine knows this couple where the husband is like kind of a drunk loser. Like he just like sits in the basement and drinks, doesn't help her take care of the kids and all this stuff. And there's this other guy in her life who's like kind of been there for her her whole life and I think has like secretly kind of been in love with her. Um, and they're like kind of talking about her and her husband are talking about divorce now and he's just a fucking loser she's never cheated on him but if she did i'd be like yeah that makes sense you kind of cultivated this i don't know what the intricacies of a person's relationship Mm -hmm. are i'm just here to fucking give the dick (laughs) (laughs) so those ones really stick out and there's one time i was at that oasis place where there was i was fucking the uh the girl i was with in this room and this girl was super hot she was like this little short redhead she was like fucking oh she was crazy hot like uh we would go and, and immediately all the attention um but we were fucking in this room and then another couple came like can we watch and they they came in they started fucking and then another couple another couple we never swapped or anything but there's four couples all fucking in this room and that was hot that's pretty close to an orgy yeah but i think for an orgy you got to get like got to be swapping around. Swap around yeah i would never be able to do that in front of another person and everyone who's seen my penis uh, is no longer alive. So. <laughs> You're like, they fuck you, and they're like, oh, that was great. <laughs> like, yeah, did you have, I'm glad you had a good time, because it would be the last time you have, like, <laughs> like the a silence prank, pistol. The praying mantis. Just yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> I sliced it. Uh, <laughs> damn, that's crazy. I can't believe you're fucking married. That is wild. Shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. it's a, It's been, like, kind of an uptick recently. I always bring it up, like, because I'll look at the Instagram, and I'll be like, yo, you got a guy, and they're always like, mm mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right. You ever afraid that the husband's going to track you down and kill you? No. You're, like, you're a fighter, but what if he has a gun? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like, bro. And also, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I looked at these dudes, and they're never like, they're never that guy. They're mm-hmm. like always very like passive looking men, and it kind of makes sense that their wife's out there cheating on them. Um, what if you found out that there was one that was like huge? Like could rip you to shreds, hot as fuck. Like, Don would Fry. you be intimidated? Yeah, like, what if you yeah, fucked Don, Don Fry's, Fry's wife? wife? Yeah. <laughs> I think if I looked at the gram and I saw this guy was like crazy, I'd be like, I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna fucking bring that kind of energy into my life. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, yeah, and I don't, yeah, because these can slip at any moment. But also, I know I'm not the only one. There's other like these ladies aren't like only fucking me and then fucking going back to their husband. I'm just like a taste, and they're in their fucking rotation of all the shit they're doing. Um. And I did have a foursome once. Whoa. Yeah. It was me and my buddy. Uh, this was this was fun. It was a night after a show. These girls were walking by. We were at the show. I was, like, back home in Vancouver. And we, like, met up. Uh, like, these girls were like, hey, where are you going? We all, like, uh, go to a bar with them. There's, like, three of them and, like, three of us. Uh, and I'm talking to this one girl. We start, like, making out at the bar. Then they all live together, so we all go back to their apartment. 
we and then um when we get there the girl who i was making out with was like do you want to tour and i was like yeah so i like she takes me to her bedroom and we start fucking and then when i come back they're all everyone's like hanging out and drinking and having fun my buddy sees me walk out immediately starts laughing he's like <laughs> he tells me after he's like because when you came back into the room, you had the biggest smile on your face, and she was wearing different pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I fucked her, then he fucked another girl, and then that was it. And then my buddy was messaging me, being like, we got to go back there. we got to go back. we got to go back. So we go back, and there's just the one girl who he banged, and we start like talking to her. We're having drinks with her. We start double teaming her. Then the other girl comes back, and then we all go up to their other friend's room. So this wasn't anyone's room. There's another girl. We have a foursome on there. I couldn't really get my dick going that well. I was like a little too much to drink, and then also the pressure's on and shit. But um, I was doing my best. What is that like to tag team with a buddy? It's great. It's one of the best bonding experiences you can have. <laughs> like, I have a question though. Like in that scenario, if I was like getting with this guy yeah. and then I left the room, I come back, him and another guy are like fucking my best friend. Like yeah. I'd I wouldn't be like, hey, like I'm gonna go join in. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening? Well, you're sex uh, negative. That's why. Yeah, yeah, you are sex negative. You should <laughs> you're be extremely sex negative. Yeah. Well, we had we had fucked like I shut I'd, up, Liam. <laughs> I had fucked this girl before, and he had fucked the other girl before, and then we were both fucking this girl. And then I think the girl like messaged her or something, being like, hey, like these guys are here who were here before, okay, and I'm fucking yeah, yeah. them. So get your ass over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'd cry if I saw my friend fucking. Like I was in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> We were gonna have babies. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, man. Um, no, that those are the ones that stick out. <laughs> Get away from her! You're hurting her. <laughs> That's a good sketch. Yeah, yeah. Threesome with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> super, super defensive guy in orgy. Just be like, whoa, bro. Fucking yeah, oh, dude. I like that yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah, they're like people trying to. Fuck. It's an orgy, man. Like, Yo, whoa, no, 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 dude. Oh, it's my fuck. girl. It's my girl, man. She's like, I just met you. Yeah. Emily, how long have we been fucking going, by You're the way? You're good to go. You can go for an hour. We go for, oh, it's going for an, an hour? hour? Holy yeah. shit. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Che. Wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. Do you, uh, please, please plug away. Plug. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to be in uh, Naples is coming up. I'm in Naples near the end of April, Naples, Florida. I'm also in uh, Brea near the end of April. And then I'm going to be in uh, Houston and Dallas. And then in July, I'm in Oklahoma. Those are all the tour dates for any of the socials. You go to chaterena.com uh, or just chaterena on all platforms, C-H-E-D-U-R-E-N-A. And then little dinky news for all the Twitch content. Fuck nice. Yeah. Yeah. I still uh, open in for Brea in April. Oh, yes, you are still yeah. opening for me. So we'll both be there. Yeah. Let's go. Come out. Let's go. Where Ooh. in uh, Dallas you... I'm from Dallas. Where are you performing? Uh, at the Addison Improv. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a great yeah, spot. Yeah. I lived uh, pretty close to there. Okay, sick. Um, love it. Right. Great, dude. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you Appreciate so much, it. man. Thank go you. watch really his stand-up. It's fucking hilarious. So good, dude. Chat GPT, great follow. Fucking update your shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>